Normally, one would start by thanking those who travelled so far to celebrate, but in the interest of shortening my speech, Jasmine and I have decided to have our wedding in the most inconvenient location possible. In the beautiful Loire Valley, a stunning venue in a spectacular region. But it wasn't always going to be like this, and so we should all bear a thought for the handful of guests milling around the Blue Mountains car park. Having all of you gathered here today is what makes this event unforgettable. I know it's not as close as the Blue Mountains for a lot of you, but I think it's a little bit better. But it wasn't going to always be like this. Uh, we're here in this beautiful place because of a change of plans. And they actually met basically through a change of plans. Steve turned up to the wrong date and then doggedly pursued Jasmine from that moment on. Jasmine and Steve's story began with a fortunate stroke of serendipity. One evening in 2012, Jasmine was out with friends and had been set up on a blind date at the Beresford Hotel with a British gentleman she'd never met. After arriving at the bar and exchanging a few text messages with a British suitor, Jasmine locked eyes across the bar with someone who fitted his general description and approached him. Assuming this was a debate, she launched into conversation. Some minutes later, when the young man himself had an opportunity to say a few words, she realised in fact that he didn't have a British accent. Realising her mistake, she turned swiftly on her heel and began to disappear in the crowd. But before that, someone said, Wait, can I have your telephone number? To which Jasmine replied, My name is Jasmine, I work at Mamma Mia, find me. Now that mystery man was of course Steve, and find her he did. And that's what brings them and us to this point today. Jasmine, when I first met you and you mistook me for some British guy you were meant to be meeting, I was captivated by your beauty. Sitting down, my first thought was relief. I had wondered if the image I had of Jasmine in my mind was distorted by the circumstances we met in. The dimly lit Beresford nightclub just before midnight a couple of weeks before. But it wasn't the case. Jasmine was and is absolutely beautiful. As I leaned in to say goodbye and kissed Jasmine on the cheek, passion got the better of me and I decided a passionate kiss resembling the famous kissing sailor photograph, tongue and all, was appropriate. And a minute later, I found myself walking back to my car by myself, knowing I'd probably just thrown away any chance of a second date. Thankfully, you gave me a second chance. And I'm so lucky, as these past seven years have been the most incredible years of my life. Jasmine, you have changed my life, and I'm not just talking about my new beauty routine. You have added an element of happiness to my life that I'm so fortunate to have. I look forward to walking through our front door every single day and seeing your smiling face. I love you more than words can say, and I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. We celebrate today, thrilled by this joyous event, which marks the beginning of Steve and Jasmine's new journey together. A journey which has its share of challenges, but which has so many wonderful, rich rewards. And finally, some words for my husband, Steve. I don't think there is another person in the world who could be more of a champion of my dreams than Steve. Um, he's also a bit of a contradiction, Steve. On one hand, he's reliable, trustworthy, patient, um, and a purely good man whose steadiness really is the foundation on which I build my dreams. But on the other. <laughs> Steve has the capacity to be the loosest, most terrifyingly irresponsible, <laughs> funniest and strangest person in any room. Just add Grappa. <laughs> I don't quite know where to start with Steve. He can be very casual, he can be very charming, as, as Phil just said, and he can be an absolute cleaner. And Steve is obviously an advocate 
proponent of you rarely get a second chance to make a good first impression. And he arrived with the best bottle of red wine. <laughs> I'm sure that all of you have been lucky enough to witness Jasmine's vast array of musical talent and most likely barefoot on your dining room table. Jasmine's energy and positive attitude makes her someone that really brightens up the room and someone that you always want around. Just as long as you aren't out for karaoke and actually want the microphone. <laughs>